everybody at Lincoln Swingers Club. <laughs> Pleasure meeting Pete in 1994 as Pete picked my line up in uh, Langdale Hotel and Country Club just up the road. Um, I worked there as sort of a duty manager to that type of thing and uh, Pete joined as the bars manager yeah. at that point. And we had a little scam going just before Pete joined. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We had a little scam going with, from the, with the old bars manager. We were at the end of a busy night, and we did work hard um, most of the time. It was five star when we started, and we gradually brought it down. And <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, when Pete started, we had this scam where we'd get free drinks each night, and they lasted most of the night, most nights. And Pete started, typical Pete, and everything went into lockdown. Locks and everything. Bars down on the bars, shutters on the bars, no drinks, no nothing. I thought this guy's not going to last very long. <laughs> but as things went on, um, we became good friends and, and have any since. And Pete said the other day, he said, We've known each other longer now than we've not known each other. We spent a few years working together at Langdale, where I taught him as much as I could. <laughs> and that I could get the free drink. I could play happy birthday on the turf. Three boxes for the chorus. <laughs> 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 oh, <yeah. laughs> and he went on, obviously, as he mentioned, to go and manage the waterhead for Anne and, and put, a, put a great success there. Um, in his time working together over the years, I, uh, I saw Pete's qualities come to light. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few I'd like to share with you. <laughs> He's got the attention to detail like no other person I've met. Absolutely. He's a man of few words and many lists. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally committed to, the, to his work and of course the person he's with for. And he's the tidiest man, which we shared a house together for a while as, as well. Which, uh, he's the tidiest man I've ever met. Bordering OCD. Bordering? No, OCD. <laughs> <laughs> he even puts his shoes back in his shoe box every night. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> He's very frugal with money wow. and be a, a good mix on the Yorkshire side. Yeah, sure. Exactly. He budgets for everything. Not a bad trait to have, you might say. But rumour has it, every morning he wakes up, he looks under his bed to see if he's lost any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, I uh, showed so, so, the yeah. traditional um, room, not a bed. Um, <laughs> so we shared a room back in uh, Ambleside at Queen's Hotel. It was a bit skanky, to be honest. Um, to give Claire a break last night. It's past the speech. <laughs> It's not the first time. It's not the first time I've shared a room. <laughs> <laughs> we, used share, we used to share a room quite often on our ski trips. And many moons ago, many moons in the literal sense, we were on a skiing trip and I pray ski, went to the bar for a few, and then eventually Pete went back to the room leather. Um, and I came back just a, a few hours later to find Pete spread eagled on the bed, completely naked on his back. It's the new. Yeah, completely. So I happened to mention it at breakfast next morning to the guys, and Pete basically can speak to me the rest of the day. 
<laughs> Damn right I didn't. <laughs> and this started to be a regular thing. <laughs> we went to another skiing trip where Pete and Claire were together. They obviously showed their own room. It was New Year's Eve. Pete again was wasted <laughs> and took himself off to bed and left Claire on her own. So eventually I walked with, you. Uh, with me. Yeah. So I took care be better of her as a gentleman. You want to be better <laughs> As a gentleman, I took Claire and helped to back to the room. The door to the hotel bedroom was wide open. And Pete was sarcus <laughs> on the bed, this time face down. Oh and Claire walked in, she went, Hey up, full moon! <laughs> 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 Now, as I didn't know Pete in his early days, I asked his two brothers for some uh, some help, and this is what they've given me. So, if you turn to the screen, there's a couple of pictures. Um, I hope this works. Right, that's called that's called Pete's first and favourites. And you can't, you probably can't read this, I'll read the top lines for you. This is about Pete, he's three years old, apparently. Favourite story? Rupert the Bear. Favourite song? <coughs> diddle Diddle Dumpling. <laughs> Favourite games? Magic Tricks. Favourite toy? Go on wheels. And this is my favourite. Trips or habits? Always takes his plastic knickers to bed. <laughs> Um, gets a little worse, hang on. There's the Beatles. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not sure which is which. Where are the middles, Pete? And obviously Terry and uh, Mike had come along at this point, and uh, two, two you know, strapping lads. And um, they were, they were Rodney and Ellen. <laughs> Actually, was a boy. And that, yeah, he's in. When he started school, on the turn. Um, Pete had a gap year, or three. Um, so it was good because he wasn't at university either. <laughs> With, it, he went travelling uh, with Chris and a few friends where he travelled to a pretty impressive list of countries. Now he, he went off to Bali, to Australia and worked there for nine months, New Zealand, Hawaii, worked in the USA for quite a time, Indonesia, Thailand and India. Now, more impressive than that, Kim okay, right? He got rid of the rash pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it was some tropical disease. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of pictures when I want to see them. No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's Pete, he's nicked Hulk Hogan's wig.
pleasure for you to take my best one for you to talk to the speaker. <laughs> And it just leaves me, on behalf of Peter Clare, um, the guys, where are they? They've disappeared in the staff. Yeah. Ooh, gone. Yeah. No, 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 I'd just like to thank Albert, who's dotting around with the blue shirt on, who's the hotel manager, and Stacey, the court leader, wedding coordinator, for putting on such a great day today, great service, food, planning, everything's gone great. Um, so thank you to them, and we'll thank you personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you.